Welcome back to Mega Man Unlimited. After defeating Tank Man, we'd naturally go to space. I'm not drunk uh, anymore. Now I got a stuffy nose. Is, does that have the same effect on you? It's a lateral shift. I might hate the game marginally less now, because this is a level I almost finished, that is, I got to the boss. Yep, so here we have a space level, we're jumping much higher. The Mets have okay. laser cannons instead of guns, so they just have a straight shot. This is a pretty good level, I think. So how is this? Because it looks annoying. It's better than the other levels, but only because I'm pretty sure they, like, stop developing it fairly soon. So you think this was one of the last levels they made, or what do you mean? Yeah, I feel like that. They're just like, they took a look at the first pencil, like, yeah, that's okay. And then they didn't go back and look at it and say, well, we could actually put spikes here. <laughs> Guess that is kind of the problem here. Because a screen like this is already pretty damn hard, for example, you don't need to have more instant kill. Yep. But most of the time they feel like they do. And that is kind of a problem. And here we have one of the other things in this game, which is like fuzzies. Those things go along the tracks, you cannot destroy them. Uh, I think that's fine as a enemy gimmick stuff. So why are they fuzzies? What happens when you touch them? Everything goes weird. You get hurt. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I meant fuzzies because like they're at all. No, well, the fuzzies good. from Super Mario World, the ones that go on the tracks. Are those called fuzzies? Yeah. Oh. I only hear, uh, know them as the strange beard guys, but I uh, watched a lot I, of Rauko. <laughs> I thought the fuzzies were only the um, the white ones from Yoshi's Island. No. No. These are the upgraded versions. Uh, See, this is a bullshit screen and a bullshit jump. Why did they have, have like to do this? Rush Jet item or something? Yeah, but it's like the Rush Jet from 4, the ones that go straight forward. Uh, so it wouldn't have helped. Yeah, it wouldn't help. Can you... Okay. I was wondering what you were doing switching weapons. Oh yeah, this is tank arsenal, but it's no use here, so we might as well just save it. But why did you take it out at all? Because I wanted to see if I could hit things through walls with it. I could, but it doesn't do anything. Well, not the bad enemy, which I think is indestructible. Uh, okay, that was weird. It was waiting for you to grab the ladder to... Transition. Yeah. Well, uh, pretty normal for Mega Man. I don't think in Mega Man games there have ever been a. What's the word? A uh, gravity level that you can jump past the ladder. Like, they seem to be built. Yeah. Anyway, back there was Tank Arsenal. We shoot three balls one that skids along the ground, one that goes straight forward, one that goes up in an arc. The thing is, it also destroys walls, but only the flying bit. The arcing ball does that. Nothing else. Which is a really weird design decision. It sounds needlessly restrictive, yeah. And the thing is, they don't even use the walls in many places, so what's the point? Hmm. This is a pretty interesting part of the level. Uh, it's basically like underwater levels used to be, but now with added enemies that move around. And ice physics. And yeah, ice physics too. Ice physics are completely unnecessary here because you're jumping around all the time anyway, which negates the ice problem. I suppose it's for people who didn't figure that out. Yep, and then it kicks you back here. Kind of uh, think you forgot that you have a shield weapon. The shield doesn't do anything to those things. Oh, but the... it doesn't kill the tallies, but that's like the point. But he got killed by the yellow one. Yeah, that is what I meant, because you kind of got killed by a telly, right? No, he got killed by the yellow spark thing. Ah, okay. Yeah, I, I fell was kind of it. wondering why the, why the telly did so much damage. <laughs> yeah. But still, for everything in this level, it's actually one of the better made levels, I think. Most definitely. I think the entire game is pretty well made, but uh, it is badly designed in the way that... Uh, their idea of difficulty is mm, not what most people consider fun, or at least I don't. Their idea of difficulty is you played this level before, right? More or less, yes. Indeed, I think it would work if you had infinite lives. 
But as it is, the levels are far too long, so you have to go back to the start all the time, like after each second attempt, and you will need those attempts, and yeah. I've seen a lot of people trying to argue that this is like the point, and then you have to get better and learn it, but still, like, the boss will also demand like three or four attempts to learn the pattern. Oh, Every yeah, boss come will. on! <laughs> So this is another two game overs added on where you just go through the entire level again. It, it's not that fun. This is the problem. Like, it's a diminishing returns thing. The only good thing about the previous screen that we talked over is that it wasn't a death pit when you fell past that. More or less, yes. I will, I will love it when you see the level that takes that and makes it horrible. So yeah, this is Comet Woman. She has about three attacks. What? For... You? She was already dead. She should have hit her a couple of times. Well, eh, gotta show it off. Anyway, that first one was the homing shot, which circles around you for a while before locking at a position. You can dodge this by basically jumping when it's about to lock and then just falling past it. She also has the Comet Dash, which... You can dodge by basically, when she starts dashing, just going to her old position. Then there's her crashing into you, which does, I think, like, 8 points of damage. Which is a lot. Don't all enemies do that with, uh, contact damage? Well, I mean, bosses. Yeah, but th that's a lot of damage. Yeah, fair enough. That and half of her moves involve crashing into you, so... Yeah. I uh, heard somewhere that um, like she's the recommended boss to start with. Can you confirm that? Like, do you think the fight is easy? The one that you actually want to start with is Nail Man, but I can see her because she actually does have like holes in her attacks that you can get through. Mm -hmm. But Nail Man has the best weapon and gives you rush jet. Okay. Well, that is a huge argument, I guess. <laughs> and Chipolenza, which you should have from the start. Yeah, but what can you do? Design so, a better game? What does a dash beat? Uh, Trinitro? That's not funny. A bot, a bot, a bot.